since since you've arrived yes in our show yes i'm just explaining to you the structure what our aim is because we have a plan do you we do we're going to try and play a, a clip an educational clip because we're trying to work out what the connection is between open educational resources as being discussed in edinburgh and radio as we know it which is strung together with bits of mp3 and a bit of chat in the studio which the listeners may or may not stay with see i think eventually the listeners will work out that we're only putting together bits and pieces and they'll find their own bits and pieces because the chat would be going on too long do you think that is the future of fm yes i do we're trying to talk to our guests john we know what you think Right. You think it's all over, don't you? You think yeah. FM has gone. I do. But Chris has had the good goodness of, from his heart to come into our, our studio. We'll ask for some new opinions. Wonderful. OK. <laughs> Chris, please carry on. OK. Um, well, if John says FM's over, yeah. he paying his licence fee for nothing. Well, that's a very good point. Why are we paying the licence fee? Aren't we paying the licence fee now for our tablet to accept the iPlayer? I don't know when that's going to come into mm, law, but they're No, trying. the licence fee for Phonic. I oh, I see. Yeah, our, our fees for to Phonic. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, obviously, we 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 love the the studio. We love FM. <laughs> Will you pretend? We we think we think Phonic is wonderful. <laughs> And uh, the rent to the Phoenix should be paid. Yeah. So for all these reasons, it's it's um it, yeah. It, the lis- listeners may not realise that the presenters are all contributing to these these costs. You can send phonic money, by the way. If you look on the website, there's a little button there. It's very easy. It's called donate, isn't it? Will? It, it is. It is. So if somebody donated about twenty grand, <laughs> we'd um. We'd have a much better studio, and how? And I would, would be, a, I would be a calmer person. How would they donate this money? From PayPal, directly. Okay. Okay. Or so, they could bring it round in a sack. In fact, if they bring uh, it round before two o'clock, we will be looking after it before the edge of jazz arrives. Well, does when the edge of jazz have it? Well, they might. Yeah, they might want us to leave the money in a big sack yeah and they'll look after it but we might just look after it okay and john's john john is john is lost got, in his he's, phone he's, he's, he's not lost in his phone I'm but the phone that. his phone has many purposes it, it it supplies a a a good list of of um tunes yes and also he gets messages which is why the show can have a few gaps in it but anyway Chris I would just like to persevere with asking you because we have to realise that the, the Radio 1 Academy is on its way yes and we're all too old for it you've got to be 16 17 18 or 19 in your opinion well no that's their their legal requirements or the, the conditions of booking they only want this is what Radio 1 does every so often um, they decide their audience is too old and their presenters are too old and their future licence payers have lost touch with the BBC and they better have a cull. They better get rid of everybody. And they, they're, so that's why I think they're, they're doing this academy with the condition you have to be 16, 17, 18 or 19 and then they'll tell you what they know, what they're expecting, reveal the plan and give you access to the book. Okay. And um, so I just wonder whether this is in fact true. Because um, you, you have played on The Wild Show, it's not a secret, is it? You have played Chris Moyles. Yes. And several versions of his final show. Yes. And his song. Yes. And since then, uh, well, how can I put this? I mean, certainly I don't know who the breakfast presenter is on, on Radio 1. I don't uh, know who not, does. Maybe John could find out with Google. I, d- I, I don't know, and I, d- I don't particularly want to find out. Oh, so it's, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't bother you that we don't know? Because d- we are I the We Don't Know show, aren't I we? I think it's Chris Moyle, isn't it? 
Mm. No, I don't think it's Chris Smiles. He left years ago. <laughs> I'm busy at the moment. He's busy at the moment. He's lost in his phone. Don't worry, Chris. I'm very glad you came in because, um, well, I think we should. Just, I'm just going to quote a couple of dates because, for various reasons, whoever, whoever does turn up at the Radio One Academy and gets to know what's going on, we would like to hear from them. And I think the first. Um, opportunity is at Hannah's so they're going to be at Seal Hain and I think that's on the 25th of April which is next week really isn't it that's Monday I think yeah. I've got that right yeah. so so somebody at Hannah's might know because you see what I, what I think the, 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 the thing I would like to know is what they're going to do with the video because um I think I'm right. When they when they went to Hackney, which was the last one they did, a lot of the video of the of the performances turned up either on the red button or on BBC Three. But BBC Three is gone. So will it turn up on YouTube? Will it turn up on the iPlayer? What what are they going to do with it? Don't know. We well we don't know. That's why we are called the We Don't Know Show. W e n o t n o on Twitter. But if anybody does know. Or well, they're lucky enough to go to the Radio 1 Academy and the Radio 1 Academy knows or has a theory about it. Um, what is happening with FM? What is happening with the World Wide Web? Is there a plan? Can anybody tell us? Right. Um, because we, we do carry on with FM, don't we? We, we, do, we do raise issues about it and we like Access All Aerials. Access All Aerials has moved to Spreaker. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R, -E -E Spreaker. And um, so when Radio 1 Academy gets to Seal Hain, they, they would probably notice that there is a radio studio with no FM at all. Though having said that, anybody from Seal Hain is obviously very welcome. I think I can say this, Chris, if they turned up on a Thursday morning between 10 and 12... Yeah, or, or into your show. Yeah, so that's on a Tuesday between... When is it? We do our show? We start our show about 12, don't we? Yep. And then it's uh, we'd, we've got to finish by about two, so that's that's so so that's um, anybody who knows what's going on. See, I don't know that Radio One has a plan or that the BBC has a plan. It's quite possible they're making it up mm -hmm. that they don't know what they're going to do with the video around the big weekend any more than we do. Oh, well, probably not. You don't think they do? No. Nope. But it's also possible if they have a Radio One Academy. That there is. Um, do you remember, you don't remember Noel Edmonds on a Sunday morning on the on the radio? Do you? No. No. He he claims there's a book. The BBC has a book. Uh, Nick Grimshaw. We found this out from the Wikipedia. The Radio One Breakfast Show. Oh well, we might meet Nick Grimshaw at some point or get some informa more information about him. If he wants to meet us. If he wants to meet us. Mr. Grimshaw, you're very welcome in this in this studio. And if you have an idea, although of what the plan is with video, we'd it's very unlikely he would want to come and meet us. You don't think he would like to want to meet us? Nope, I don't. Well, yeah, anyway, I... somebody. Well, whoever whoever the, it turns up at the Radio One Academy, uh, we'd like to know if somebody at Seal Hay knows what what is going on. Right. <laughs> We'd like to know, wouldn't we? Anyway, I, I, I uh, got into this show by claiming that I knew about R&B long ago. You might not have noticed this, dear listeners, but the, the basic premise of the show is, is sort of R&B. What is, what is that? Which we don't know. We don't claim to know what it is. No. But I definitely know that this is on the Atlantic label um, from a, quite a long time ago, and it's Ben E. King.